Search engine optimization is a service that is widely understood. A lot of local businesses are already paying for it on a monthly service, but they're paying for traditional marketing agencies, $2,000, $3,000, $5,000 a month for their SEO services. And in many cases, they do not need it. AI is good enough and Go High Level has actually built in an SEO product, which is the one that I'm showing you right now, that competes with a lot of the marketing agencies out there. For your small mom and pop business, they do not need to be paying $5,000 a month for their SEO services. AI recommendations and a Go High Level website is more than adequate to service their business. And search engine optimization has changed dramatically with the advent of AI. ChatGPT, Claude, and others have risen onto the scene and you need to take those into consideration. Let me show you how to set up and charge 300 bucks every single month for your SEO services that you provide. Now, one thing to understand is that there's services like Ahrefs out there. Many times agencies are the ones that are signing up for this and then tacking on their man hours on top of the 129 or 249 or even 449 dollars a month underneath their subscription that they're paying for and then servicing their clients with their SEO services. Now, with high level, you can have this built into your account. So let's jump into the agency view of your account and you're gonna go to reselling on the left-hand side. Once you're in reselling, go ahead and scroll down and you're gonna see SEO powered by Search Atlas. Make sure that this little toggle is turned on. Underneath this, you're gonna have your pricing. This is the publicly available pricing that your clients are going to see inside of their sub accounts when they're signing up for SEO. There's two ways that you can offer this. One is that an additional add-on. So if they sign up at $127 a month for your regular high-level subscription, you can upsell them with an additional SEO service. The other way of charging it is making it an included add-on or a bonus whenever they sign up with their account. Just make sure that the high-level price is included in your markup so that you are not uh, breaking even or losing money when you're setting up your account. High level is going to charge you $79 a month per SEO instance that you turn on. So make sure you are aware of that. In our case, we're going to set this up at $150 a month, which is definitely very low. Now, with $150 a month being charged, $71 is going to be our profit. Go ahead and click on save and you can set that up inside of your account. Now, step two is you're going to go to your sub account section and you're going to navigate to your agency sub account. In your agency sub account, this is where you can click on reselling and scroll down to offer SEO. I highly recommend you partake in this part. This is going to allow you to learn how to implement SEO for yourself and demo it for your clients. Click on offer SEO and there's a little checkbox that says, I agree to enable SEO. This is going to charge your sub account, your agency sub account, $79 a month in order to turn on the SEO. This allows you to jump into your account and actually use it and demo it first. Once you click on that, click on pay now, and now it'll say configuration is loaded inside of your agency account. Let's then jump into that sub account. Once you're inside of your sub account underneath sites, go to SEO at the top navigation and you're going to see a bunch of different project or in your case, you're not going to see any at the moment. You can click on new site project in the upper right hand corner and add the domain that you want to check. In my case, I already have a couple added. Let's look at the Clearwater Plumbing first. This is not one of my clients. This is just a random website that I pulled up and you can do the same if you want to look at any websites that are out there. And this is what your dashboard is going to look like. You can see it and your clients can see this dashboard. So things to be aware of, site analytics, you can do a site audit. There are different pages and sessions available, the number of backlinks over time with a track record keyword rankings and organic keyword with the associated URL. If you want to see additional details, you can click on launch advanced SEO. We'll get to that in just one minute. The AI recommendations is the key that you want to offer to your clients. This is an easy to implement tool, especially if they are building and using a high level website as opposed to let's say a WordPress site. Underneath the AI recommendations, this is going to pull the fixes or issues with their site that they could optimize for. Title tags, meta descriptions, missing image and alt text and others. On the right hand side, it's going to give you a recommended fix. And if this is a high level website, you can automatically fix that by clicking on fix issue. Let me show you that in action using one of my sites. 
If I click on go back to site projects and I go into joshuasanderford.com, which is a high level website and my website, I can click on AI recommendations. This will pull up some of the details on my website. In my case, the blog is not a built-in website, but the My Home is. If I click on Fix Issue, this will automatically update the title tag inside of the high level because it is built in and it will fix the recommended fix and put that title tag in place of the current value. You can also AI generate and custom write each one of the title tags and click on Fix Issue and it'll push that update. Now, I tease the idea of a launch advanced SEO. When you click on this dashboard, this is actually going to pull up Search Atlas, but it is hidden. This is a full Search Atlas account, which in most cases is going to cost you several hundred bucks a month as opposed to just the $79 a month that you are charging. But you get this included with up to four websites and some additional local SEO and keyword lists. You will see the different websites that you have associated with this particular sub account. In our case, we have Joshua Sandifor, we have Clearwater Plumber. When we click into that, this will give you a more detailed and in-depth overview of this competitor of this website. This is super important, super useful for SERP features, organic competitor list, and downloading a lot of PDFs, documents associated with this SEO search. This is all included and you can charge for this on a monthly basis, charging much less than marketing agencies are having to charge because they are having to put man hours in order to generate these reports and deliver them to the clients. Next, let's click on go back and exit out of the site projects and we'll go to local SEO. Local SEO is separate from the site project, which just gives you an overview of the website and its performance online. Local SEO is going to look at Google business profile and how your client shows up in Google Maps. When we click on a location like high level, this is going to give us an overview of the keywords and how well they rank. Now, high level is an international business, so it's not necessarily trying to rank very well in the Dallas area, but when we click on CRM, we can see on average, they rank 16 across the board in the area that I have selected. When I hover on each one of these pins, I can see the competition and how well the competition ranks. I can also click on compare and do a cross-reference between the pin distribution and see how well the competition ranks to my client. I can then click on get a PDF and download this. This is your client can do this or you can do this. Hovering on each one of these pins and showing them month over month how well your SEO services are doing for their business, making sure you're implementing listings and the AI recommended fixes. Now, how do you add a keyword? When you click on go back and you go to the local SEO page, you can also create new and add different businesses, which is going to search a Google business profile via like Google Maps and you can click on add. If you want to add a keyword, click on the three dots on the right hand side, click on add keyword. And this is where you can add the details to the keyword, choose whether it's a rectangular or a circular area for the pins to show up and the distance that you want to search. Okay, that is SEO. If you want to implement this and see how I'm doing it in my business, go to gocollab.com and scroll all the way down to the bottom. I'm in the bottom right hand corner, Joshua Sandiford, and jump into my community, Go High Level Jumpstart. There's a bunch of members in there and I have two free unbranded courses that you can download. There's two ways to use this. You can take this course and use it to train yourself, but it is unbranded. So it does not give away the Go High Level white label. You can then take that course and service it to your clients so that you can train them how to use high level. I give it away completely for free. All I'm asking for is for you to join the community. I'll see you inside. And if you have any further questions, don't hesitate to reach out. I'm always in the comment section and inside the community answering a bunch of people's questions. And if you're not already on high level and you want to start selling SEO, go ahead and use the link down in my description to get a 30 day free trial with my bonuses and join me on the go high level train. I look forward to seeing how you service your clients and implement SEO at a much better rate than traditional marketing agencies can do. I will see you later. Joshua Sandford.